Okay, so here's our current room. It is 13 and a half by 17 and a half, so it's a good size room. This is the only light. Actually, I think one of those is burned out, but it's a fan. And I put that up recently, but here's the problem. Look when I turn off the light, how much difference it makes. <laughs> it's like nothing. So you can imagine that when it's dark or when these windows are closed, this room is always very dark. So anyways, we are gonna be adding some new lights. All right, this is a six pack. I think I'm gonna look at Look how thin they are. Do you see that? So you don't have to worry about where the joists in your ceiling are. You don't have to worry about where the um, your air conditioned pipes or like anything like that. You don't have to worry about any of it because this just basically clamps on the drywall on your ceiling. So love these. And then they to each attach this little box that goes up right inside the drywall. Let me explain a little bit. So this way for light, we don't have to wire for that part. We actually wire the box part. So let's pretend this is the wires coming from the light switch, okay? And then these are the wires going to the next light, right? Because I have four lights I'm gonna install. So you have to wire all of those together. When you wire things, sometimes you can have those little screw on caps, but these, you just stick the wire into these little holes and they all will connect. So green goes to the bare copper wires. So we're gonna get both of these bare copper wires and we're gonna stick them into this green clip. All right, now we've got the green wire and the two bare copper wires, and you may want to make sure that they go all the way to the end so that this metal can connect them. Then we do the same thing with the black wire. We get all of the blacks here in this box. All right, now we've got all the black wires together. And then we put all the white wires together. All right, now this is wired correctly. All the green wires and bare copper wires are together. All the black wires are together and all the white wires are together. Then you're gonna close them up. And then last part is this, attaches to this. And you twist it, and there you go. Now that we've divided our room into thirds, we wanna divide it, we want need six feet from the wall, which is actually here. And then from this wall, we need five, no, we need 54 and a half. Right there, so this is where we will drill one light. All right, so you can see it cut a six inch circle out of my drywall. My drywall is like half inch. And this is just my insulation up in my ceiling. So we're gonna push the insulation up a little bit to run the wires to over there. And then this little new light will clip onto this drywall. wire all of the black wires together, all the white wires together, and bare copper wires go with the green wire. Cut away this casing to expose the wires more. Pull back this paper so you can see them. You can cut away the paper if you want to. All right, now you can see we have the white wire, the black wire, and the bare copper wire. We're gonna strip those about five eighths of an inch so we can see the end. So all the black wires go together, their copper wires go with this green one, and all the white ones go together. 
So we have the white one coming to the box, the white one coming from the source, and the white one going to the next light. These push together, and then you twist this to lock it. And then these little are the little clamps that hold it to the drywall. So you'll push one onto that side, and then lift this one up, lift this one up. Beautiful! Black wire goes to just the black wire coming from the switch. It does not go to the black wire that goes to the new recess lighting because those are on a different switch. Now the red wire gets wired to the new wire that's coming into the recess light. Yeah, works great! Okay, moment of truth. It's beautiful! Look how bright it is! Oh my goodness! This room is so bright now. <laughs>